Hi there, your computer friend Connie here. You know, in Microsoft Teams, I want to talk to you about uh, sometimes if you're in a meeting, it's kind of hard to navigate somewhere else. Like it's hard to get to that chat where someone said something that you want to bring up or maybe you're trying to find a file. It's a little bit awkward, right? So what you can do um, now is actually there's an update from Microsoft that you can take advantage of. So you can have your meeting in one window and have it either off to the side or on another monitor. Like I have a monitor over here and then you could open open up your channel and your chats and stuff like that while you're in the meeting to reference stuff as you need to. So cool new feature, want to show it to you right now. Okay. So I'm just going to get out of this meeting I'm having. All right. So where this is going to happen is that you're going to go into your settings, which is the top right corner here where my little picture is. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go to settings. And then right in that general settings option at the top, there is a place here that says turn on new meeting experience. So this is saying new meetings and calls will open in separate windows. So if this isn't showing on your screen for some reason, that probably means you just need to update your, your uh, Teams app, which I'll show you how to do that. Um, otherwise, uh, this is this is where it is. No other places to look. And um, as it says there, once you've made this change until you restart Teams, which means you close Teams down and open it up again. Um, at that point, when you reopen Teams, then this comes into effect. So the next meeting you have, you can have that meeting in a separate window off to the side or on the side of your screen and then your uh, channel information, your files, your chats on in another window. So it'll make your meetings go so much better. So hopefully you are enjoying this tip. Let's just show you um, now. I'm just going to go out of this. If you don't, if you're not sure if your teams is up to date, if you click on your profile initials or your picture there, it'll say check for updates. That's where you can find out whether there's an update that you need to do. And if for some reason it's not working for you, then you might have to contact your IT department. All right, so thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.